Condren on top by two, pacing strong ahead of White Run Witch into the final turn. Test Run looks at it from third. Katie's Lucky Lady uncovered fourth at the outside. Fancy Bayama to the inside fifth. Village Lucinda sixth at the outside, then Mannered New Leaf and Mystic Moments. And the distance trailer is Fieldstone. Frankie, they've got to catch Armbro Remarkable. White Run Witch is next in pursuit in second. Test Run is third. Katie's Lucky Lady up to fourth at the head of the lane. Village Lucinda on the outside fifth. Fancy Bayama sixth. 126 and 4, the three quarters. 28 and 4, third split. Armbro Remarkable, the leader into the lane. Armbro Remarkable stretching it out to three. Village Lucinda tips off cover and is now in hot pursuit. In deep stretch, Village Lucinda is chasing Armbro Remarkable to the finish. Village Lucinda, Armbro Remarkable. It is Armbro Remarkable giving Condren and McIntosh two in a row in the Champlain Stakes over Village Lucinda. Then Katie's Lucky Lady endeavoring to catch the Third over Fancy Bayama. Number three, Armbro Remarkable is back to Woodbine's infield winners enclosure. No nukes, two year old brown filly from Trossaway. Owned by Bob McIntosh and Kate Mitchell Stables and Al McIntosh Holdings. Trained by Bob McIntosh and driven to victory by Steve Condren. Her first in nine this year is a victory in the Champlain Stakes and a mark of 156-2. Armbro Remarkable in the fifth. Helping us out with the infield winner's enclosure presentation, Wendy Craigie and Janice Foley from Rider Truck Rentals. Welcome to all of you from Rider Truck Rentals in your special group outing at Woodbine. Driver Steve Condren returns to the winner's circle with his second win in the Champlain Stakes. And I have co-owner Al McIntosh joining me as well. And Steve, you used a different strategy this time than the first division. Yeah, um, she raced really good her last start. And uh, um, I was just figured I'd be a little more aggressive with her. I just let them settle and then I moved to the front and she just kind of snuck on from there. And Al McIntosh, you've been partners with Bob for many years. How many years have you been with him? We've been together for 20 years. Quite a while. And where did you purchase this filly? This filly was purchased at the Kentucky sales, the Kentucky Standard Bridge sale from the Armstrong consignment. And in those 20 years, how many horses would you say you were a part owner with Bob? Oh, I, I would expect it's been close to 100. Quite a few. And you're also, you co-breed as well with Bob, some of the mares that he's kept over the years? Yes, we're getting involved more and more in the breeding uh, aspect. And that's actually the reason we bought this filly was for the future. I guess so. She's a very well-bred filly. We're going to have a chance to watch the stretch drive, gentlemen. And, of course, Steve didn't get a chance to see it because he was out there live. And uh, here they are. They're just going, looks like, around the last turn, Steve. And she looks quite comfortable. Yeah, she um, uh, she was well in hand right at that point there. And then we hit the wind there. And she just, just seemed to kind of just get a little filly-ish on me as soon as we drove into the breeze. And she was still pacing good and everything. She just, you know, like I say, I think the wind kind of bothered her a little bit there late in the lane. And... And there were some fresher fillies coming at her. You know, she used herself up a little bit the third quarter. But, you know, the breeding always shows down near the wire, and it's starting to show right here. Well, she raced excellent. Uh, Al, this filly has been winless in eight starts this year before tonight, but her last start was a big effort, even though it was a maiden race. Yes, it was. Actually, back two starts ago in the Trillium was where she started to start showing her class. She broke loose that night, I think. Well, there's a lot of money in the fall, so there aren't any worries, are there? Well, there's always worries. <laughs> <laughs> of course. She, she just looks excellent, though. But anyway, that's back-to-back -back wins for Steve Conran and Bob McIntosh in the Champlain Stakes.